Hey everyone, I'm Keychain. This is Darklands Tips and Tricks. Remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Now the first tip I wanted to go over was the free healing coins. Now you get 20 of these coins per second and I'm going to show you what that looks like here. So up in the top right, see I'm getting a bunch of these coins. I have 15,000 of them. Um, oh, and the, the clip jumped. Um, I was doing multiple cuts, but here I'm going to actually use the coins to heal my troops uh, and use the silver ones, not gold. Um, you get plenty of these. Unless you're getting hit really hard, you can use a lot of these coins in a match. Now, the other thing to do to maximize this is use your healing gear. Now, I don't know if anybody saw my mistake there, but I equipped the helm and the boots, but the boots don't actually help you with speed. It was the ring that I needed. Um, so, you know, a little mistake there, and then, you know, going over my actual using the coins. Now, the other piece here, healing gear. There's the free set, which is the lieutenant set, and you can craft this, which is the items you need are the boots, the helm, and the ring, and then the new training set. Now, the new training set has additional healing speed on the chest. So having this new healing speed is gonna help you a good amount um, over not using it. Now the next piece of this that you want, that I wanted to cover was not all the landmarks are open when the match starts. So the elemental shrine and the blood shrine open first. Um, we always prefer the element, elemental shrine and then all of the crypts open up and the sepulchers follow that. And then the center finally opens a little while after that. So here in this clip, I'm waiting just a minute for this to open and then I'm sending a march as soon as this um, sepulchre opens so that I can get in there and cap it and start getting the points. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about after that clip is the commands. Do not forget your commands. I see people do this, they forget their commands. Um, you're losing out on some options here. So in here, Rally and Cry will um, increase your march speed and other members, um, when you're successfully occupying a zone. Now the other piece about that is um, Unity is the one that I like uh, because it, it increases all troop damage. The damage is a very powerful stat, uh, even more so than any of your attack stats. And if everybody's using Unity, it'll stack up to five times. So you'll gain an extra 50% troop damage, which is huge. And then the last one is Supply Chain. I tend to think that one's kind of useless. Um, first reason, mines are only active for a very small piece of the match. Uh, second, you gain points for the amount of time that you're in the mines, not based on what you've gathered. So this is kind of a pointless buff. Uh, the next set is the astute commands. Now, the one I like in here, the one I think is the best, is the march speed one. Um, Solidity could be useful, but honestly, 200% march speed saves a ton of speed ups. Um, it's it's huge. So that's the one that I go with. Uh, next thing is maximizing your marches. I mean, maximizing your marches, you can have five marches active during the event. So if you're in five different landmarks, you're getting points for five different landmarks. So try and keep your marches busy. Even if you're only maintaining one or two, you know, landmarks, um, have your other marches doing stuff, running scouts, uh, gathering if it's available, getting ready to go to the vampire. Uh, there's lots of other things, but if you have the option to try and maximize your, march your marches. The other piece of this is that you only need 50,000 troops in a tower to maximize your efficiency. So if it's not heavily contested, try not to send a full march of 750K that makes it so other people can't get in there. Now the next piece about this, uh, the next tip is to use your chalice wisely. Um, you can equip the chalice with a little checkbox at the top and it's 2000 
troop attack, troop defense, and troop health. It's a very large boost. Uh, and I show myself using it a few times, and I save it for personal fights, like if I'm going to be attacking a landmark on my own, or attacking a tile, or attacking someone's castle, that's what I save my chalice for. Unless I'm planning to be the troop leader for something like taking one of the landmarks and running a mega on that, then I would I would use my chalice for for that march where I'm going to be the mega leader. But other than that, I try and save my chalice for you know contested areas. I don't just want to send my chalice into some random landmark that someone else is controlling or megaing. Um, now the, the next tip, the vampire is very important. The vampire is very important. I don't know how many times I can say that. 2,000% troop attack and troop health stacking. So if your alliance wins this, um, it's going to make the rest of the match easier, especially if you're losing. Um, and maybe the other guys just have a little bit more stats than you. If you get the first vampire... For the next 15 minutes, maybe you're on a more even playing field and you get to actually, you know, fight back and maybe you can take some of the nodes um, or the landmarks back. And then the other piece of it, if you get the, you know, the final hit for each of the, the health bars, so there's five of them, um, you get points for finishing the health of one of the stages and then you get a big set of points for actually killing the vampire noble and that gets you the boost for your alliance so here i port as close as i can and i just send my top march over and over and over again um, and then when it's getting close to the end i use the chalice to try and get that final hit and you know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't um, and i've gotten the critical hit on each phase and then i've also gotten the death blow for killing the vampire before and the last thing i want to talk about here is the bloodbath mechanic now i don't have actual footage on this because there's there's not you know anything to actually shoot but in the last 10 minutes landmarks and mines gain double points so the moral of the story here is don't give up um if say the other alliance that you're fighting is stronger but they have less players maybe you should try and keep them off of the the second set of mining nodes the silver and the iron and then in the last 10 minutes have everybody just take all of the gathering nodes while they're double points and uh, try and catch up that way um, there's lots of little advanced strategy things you can try and do if your alliance is coordinated enough uh, I think that's it for this video. Um, remember to hit the like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.